On bonfire night, 1980, five years after the first murder, the Ripper went back to Huddersfield. He'd killed there before, the 18-year-old prostitute Helen Ritka, murdered in the red light district. This time, he chose an ordinary housing estate. His victim, a teenage mother. She'd walked a hundred yards to the shops for a packet of cigarettes and was on her way home to her baby and her boyfriend. Her name was Teresa Sykes. She was 16 years old and she survived. When you're 16 and you, you don't even think about it, which I appreciate, I didn't. It's like it can never happen to me. I mean, even when I knew that it was about, it was uh, what happened to me. It was just before I got to the lamppost up there, and then once I got under the light, I looked round, and he was behind me. And I looked at him, and he looked at me, and it was sort of like a couple of seconds, and he walked off down the path. And then obviously I thought, yeah, it's all right, it's gone. And I carried on walking, and I'm walking down here. Um, I got like just past the second light and noticed the shadow on the floor. Didn't hear anything, just the shadow. So I knew it was still there, but I still got the feeling that there was somebody behind me. And when I saw the shadow, that's what really frightened me. I couldn't run. <laughs> I couldn't do half the things that you always think, yeah, you can do, and I couldn't do it. So I grabbed hold of the gate, and that is when he hit me. I started screaming, I can remember screaming, and then I can remember the steering footsteps running, and then the next time I ever came out, no one took me in the house. And I still didn't realise I was really hurt until I actually got in and saw blood. How close to home were you? My home's there, I can see it from here. Detective Superintendent Dick Holland lived only a mile and a half away. We were only minutes behind him with dogs on the scene pretty quickly. He ran down here and somehow got it. We don't know exactly his route into the back alley, but the dogs picked him up, picked up scent in the back alley. And uh, in fact, uh, my daughter at that time was living there, next to the passage, right under the scene. So incidents like that do have a personal touch. It's frustrating every time you get near to a criminal uh, and uh, just miss them. All the luck ran on his side right up to when he was finally caught. That was it.